Okay, so guys, we'll be talking about uh, the anatomical basis for face syndrome. All right. Um, do you know face syndrome? If you don't know face syndrome, don't worry. We'll be going through face syndrome in this um, lecture. Uh, we'll be also talking about the anatomical basis for face syndrome. So the question is, um, what is the cause or anatomical reasons for face syn syndrome? So basically, face syndrome is um. Um, when somebody is like, um, okay, um, when somebody's cheek is becoming so red, when the person thinks about food or when the person is eating, okay. So, what is the anatomical basis for this face syndrome? So, uh, this refers face syndrome refers to a condition where there is sweating and redness when one eats or thinks about food, okay, and this is due to the injury to the uh, this is due to injury or damage to the auriculotemporal and great auricular nerves, okay? The auriculotemporal nerves contains parasympathetic, that's the secretor motor. It also contains sensory and sympathetic fibers, okay? The great auricular nerve contains sensory and pseudomotor fibers, okay? So, just for you guys to know where the auriculotemporal nerve is, this is where the auriculotemporal nerve is. Okay, I'll say that it contains what parasympathetic, which is the secretor motor, it contains sensory and it contains sympathetic fibers. Okay, so I uh, will say that when these nerves are cut during regeneration, the secretor motor fibers may grow into the endoneural sheets of the fibers supplying the cutaneous receptors for pain okay uh, okay supplying the uh, cutaneous receptors for pain touch and temperature and sympathetic fibers supplying sweat glands and blood vessels okay thus um, um stimulation for salivation evokes what cutaneous hyperesthesia and sweating and flushing okay um Okay. Spoke about um, the auriculotemporal nerve fibers. Okay. Also spoke about um, the auricul the, the great auricular nerve. Okay, which contains the sensory and the pseudomotor fibers. I will say that when they are cut during the regeneration, the secretory motor fibers may grow into endoneural sheets of the fibers, supplying cutaneous receptors for pain, touch, and temperature. And sympathetic fiber supplying what sweat glands and blood vessels. Thus, stimulus for salivation evokes what cutaneous hyperesthesia, sweating, and flushing. Okay, and presenting features are when a person eats the ipsilateral cheek, that's a cheek on the same side, ipsilateral, the cheek on the same side, um, that's around the parotid region, would become red hot and painful and when a person shaves there's a cutaneous hyperesthesia that's unusual or pathological words sensitivity of the skin or of a particular sense okay that's hyperesthesia when you are shaving your hair for you to just feel the normal sensation there's a hyperesthesia that's a hypersensitivity okay so this hyperesthesia is in the front of the ear okay so guys, these are the anatomical basis for face syndrome, and the main stuff is on the page you see right here. Okay, uh, no, the main stuff is on this page. Huh? On this page, where they spoke about um, the auriculotemporal nerve the fibers, and they spoke about the great auricular nerve fibers. Okay, so these guys, I think these are the. This is the cause, and this uh, the cause is um. A damage or lesion to these nerve fibers and um, the anatomical reasons I also gave them okay so see you guys in the next tutorial and bye for now